House progressives fell short in an effort to bring the minimum wage in New Hampshire to $15 an hour by 2024. The state last had its own minimum wage eight years ago, and the new Democratic majorities want to bring it back. But there's disagreement on how high it should go. The people that are doing what we as a society ask of them by working hard and putting in a hard day's labor should be able to do the basics for their family. You should be able to afford food, rent, transportation, and all of that. Only 79 reps voted for a $15 an hour minimum wage, but a majority of 208 Democrats and two Republicans ultimately backed a plan for $9.50 an hour in 2020, $10.75 an hour in 2021, and $12 an hour in 2022. This was not a casual choice. It was not an easy choice. Uh, it was a pragmatic choice. Opponents of the bill say a state minimum wage is unnecessary and that the free market is already providing wages at or above what's proposed and well above the federal minimum of $7.25 an hour. They believe rather than paying more, businesses will cut back on hours and employees. It's going to cause employers to lay off staff. Some employers have very restrictive margins. They cannot afford to pay more in the wages that they're currently paying. This debate is also going on in the New Hampshire Senate, but either way, it is likely to end at the corner office here at the State House. Governor Chris Sununu has said he does not support a state level minimum wage. He thinks if it should be increased, it should be done at the federal level. Live in Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.